In this video, we will discuss two easy ways to bring in multiple cameras into your Mac computer for live streaming and video production using your favorite software, including OBS, Wirecast, Livestream Studio, Mimo Live, Ecamm, and more. First, we will discuss the tried and true hardware method, where we will connect up to four SDI cameras to our Mac Mini using the PTZ Optics Producer Plus expansion box. The PTZ Optics Producer Plus external PCIe expansion box can connect to any Mac computer with a Thunderbolt port. This box then provides four plug and play SDI connectors that you can use to capture multiple SDI video feeds into your Mac computer. A secondary way of connecting multiple cameras to your Mac computer that we will review in this video, we'll be using a software solution called the New Tech NDI. NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and it is a low latency, high quality IP video connection method used in many video production software solutions, including OBS, Wirecast, Livestream Studio, and more. Let's start with method number one by connecting our PTZ Optics Producer Plus external PCIe expansion box to the Thunderbolt port of our Mac mini computer. If you plan to use four cameras in your video production, we highly suggest using an i7 processor with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. 32 gigabytes of RAM would be recommended. Inside this external SDI expansion box, we have a four port Magewell Pro Capture SDI PCIe card. This is an easy way to connect a PCIe e-card to your Mac computer. Before we can use these video inputs, we need to download and install the Magewell Pro Capture Card drivers. Once you've done so, each SDI input will show up as an available video source in your favorite live streaming or video production application. You can now start by connecting multiple PTZ Optics cameras to the SDI ports of your expansion box. The benefits of SDI include uncompressed video quality at resolutions up to 1080p at 60 frames a second. The SDI cabling is also preferred by professionals because it has locking connectors, durable quality, and it can be run long distances. Uncompressed video is ideal for the highest quality video productions and 3G SDI cabling can produce video at up to three gigabits per second. The next method we will review in this video is using the new tech NDI. The benefit of this method is that the, it leverages your local area network. Using PTZ Optics NDI HX cameras, we can now connect to multiple cameras using our local area network, which can be spread out throughout your space. The new tech NDI does require a gigabit network infrastructure and each NDI HX source will use roughly 12 megabits per second of bandwidth. Therefore, four NDI HX cameras will use 48 megabits per second on your local area network and leave plenty of bandwidth for other important connectivity options. To get started, you need to plug your PTZ Optics NDI cameras into your network using an ethernet cable. This single cable can be used to provide power using a PoE network switch, PTZ control of your camera, and a low latency, high quality video and audio stream for your video production software. To connect to these cameras inside your video production software, make sure that you have the latest NDI HX drivers installed, which are included in the latest NDI 4.0 tool pack. Also, make sure that your video production software will support the new tech NDI. For example, using OBS on your Mac computer with NDI sources will require the latest NDI Mac plugin to be installed before you can use NDI sources. Let's go ahead and pull in a couple of NDI sources into OBS. You can see that the NDI sources are automatically discovered on your local area network. If you do not see your NDI camera, you can use the PTZ Optics JSON editor tool to statically assign an NDI entry. You can learn more about statically assigning IP addresses at ptzoptics.com IP. So that's it. There are two easy ways to bring in multiple cameras into your Mac computer for live streaming and video production. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy.